you got a question on your mind, a few thoughts you want to unwind, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, you got a couple problems, he helps all, baby mama and daddy, a necessary problem you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, just ask, ask. Yeah, I like the music, I love my music. <laughs> what's going on you guys it's your girl ask ashley here with another amazing episode of midday juice again super excited to be with you guys i got you guys here on facebook i got you guys here on instagram thank you for taking the time to kick it with me today as always starting the show off giving a shout out to Send Digital and Nathan Ivey. Thank you guys so much for being sponsors of the show and just helping me and partnering with me, bringing Midday Juice back. I really appreciate it. As you guys are coming in, go ahead and drop your names. Let me know that you're here. Hey, and Andrea, I hope I'm saying your name right, but I'm gonna say Mrs. White until I know for a fact that I'm saying your name right. So, hey, thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in with me today. All right. Really quick before we start the show, you guys know we're here every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. So if you are not subscribed to the Sin Digital channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Also subscribe to Ask Ashley. Follow me. Hey, Linda Jones, what's going on? It's good to hear from you. And then if you have a question that you want to submit, go ahead and submit that to oneaskashley at gmail.com. And I had a couple people that asked me yesterday send digital my partnership with send digital bringing midday juice back does have sponsorship and ad package opportunities as well so if you guys are interested in that you can go ahead and email again one ask ashley at gmail.com all right so let's get into today's topic <sighs> how many of us wished that we had like warning labels or warning signs on the people that we were interested in like if you came across this person it just said this person lies, cheats, steals, beats you, talks about your kids, doesn't take care of their kids, like all of these things so that it would make it easier for you when it comes time to dating. Person that emailed today absolutely ran into that issue. And I want to make sure, I, you know, as always, I want to see what you guys think as soon as we get into um, the email itself. But I always want to know what you guys think before I give my advice, because I'm just curious to know if I'm right or if we're on the same wavelength, not even if I'm right, because everybody's opinion is going to be different. But if we're on the same wavelength, if y'all feeling me and I'm feeling what you're saying and vice versa. So here's the email. Dear Ashley, I struggle with dating. Don't we all, baby? Don't we all? I struggle with dating. It's a, it's a lot. It's hard to tell when it's okay to give and when it's okay to take. When should I allow myself to open up versus when I should keep a wall up to make a guy see my, to make a guy see my worth? or a woman in a man's case. I've been single for a little I've been single for over for a little over a year now and I struggle with dating so much that it sometimes makes me just want to call my ex and go back to what I'm used to. No. I know you're going to say that that's never an option, absolutely, but I wish men came with warning labels and side effects that tell you like no sis, this is not it. This is going to waste your time. Do you have any key signs that are like automatic warnings? I know everyone is different, but a guide would be fucking great because I'm tired. And we signed that anonymous. Okay. So first off, <laughs> I always get really tickled by the fact that I have people that inbox me like relationship kind of questions because I don't know where you guys <laughs> got it from that my love life is so great, but it's a doozy so i'm really not sure where that stuff comes from but i appreciate it nonetheless and i'm gonna rock with you so i feel like the first step that is very vital and very important in any relationship or any type of situation where it comes to dating or partnering yourself or 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 connecting yourself to another human being is to have yourself together first like, if you have yourself together first, all of these concerns that you have, you will rarely went run into because you will see things as clear as day because you focused on yourself so much that you know yourself well enough to know, no, that's, I don't like that. Like, you'll feel it in your body. The energy will just get different. It will just change and you will start to feel it like, oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. No. Like, it'll just go against every fiber in your body. So my first suggestion to 
entering this dating world is have yourself completely together. Focus on yourself. Make sure that you are ready to even step out there. Really quick little plug. I'm also going to recommend that you get my homeboy Vernon's book. Um, it is uh, The Looking Glass. It is really a good book, not just for men, but for women and men. It's a good book for men um, when it comes to understanding how you are as a man when it comes to the dating world and why things go the way that they go for you, right? But it's also really good for women to understand how to go about dating men that seem like they're a little lost. Women that feel like I have worked on myself enough and I still feel like it's BS out here. So I'm also going to plug that really quick and tell you to go ahead and cop that book. Okay. But I will give you guys five tips uh, when it comes to warning labels, I'll, pers I'll, I'll say, um, in the dating realm, right? First off is knowing yourself. When you know yourself, because keep in mind, my warning signs versus your warning signs, they're going to look a little different because we're two totally different people who have had different experiences, have come from different backgrounds, who have different forms of education, different forms of beliefs and, and, and thought processes, right? So again, make sure that you have yourself kind of together and you know yourself well enough to know these are not things that I want to deal with. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and give you these tips. Tip number one. If he is too busy to call, communicate, make time to see you, and I'm not saying every second on the hour, I'm not saying that, but if he is too busy to make time for you, that is not it. He's not even as interested as you want him to be for you to be sitting back going crazy and questioning yourself right now, right? I have plenty of friends who are entrepreneurs, so I don't want to hear how entrepreneur life should, uh, life is hard. And, and, and it's too much time consuming and I just don't have time because the reality is if you want to make time for that, you will make time for that, whether you're an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur or not, right? Even an entrepreneur can say, this is my schedule. I'm free on this day. I would really like to take you out on this day or I would really like to, you know, link up and hang out or whatever the case may be on this day. If this day doesn't work good for you, let me know and I'll try to figure something out. Like that's the mindset of a person that is very interested in dating you and probably is not going to waste your time because they don't want their time wasted either. Tip number two, a person who is super critical of other people is an issue. You have to look at, the way that they interact with other people. If they're sitting back always talking about somebody else, if they're sitting back always, you know, um, 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 judging someone else, keep in mind, they're probably going to do that to you as well when you are not looking. So someone who is super critical of everybody else and what they got going on and how they don't do this and how wrong they are for this and how wrong they shouldn't be wearing that and that don't go with this and they shouldn't be, that's out. Pay attention to how they perceive other people. Number three, this is something that <laughs> always comes up in conversations with my friends and I, especially when it comes to dating, right? And I'm going to just say this. If things don't add up, they don't add up. And if this person that you're dating does not make things add up for you or help you get to the two plus the two and the four, then it's not adding up for a reason. Be clear about that. Vocalize yourself when it comes to that. And, and, and if it's something that you really want to get the answers for, or if it's something that you really want to dig deeper into, if they're open to having the conversation to help you to understanding them, great. If not, cut it off because they're not interested and they don't care that it doesn't add up to you. And they know that it doesn't add up to you and they don't care that it doesn't add up to you. So pay attention to that. And it's, it's, it's funny again, because people always say, oh, are there tips that you can give when it comes to this, when it comes to that? In the world, it's like, baby, I can give you the to pay attention because there are a lot of us who see the red flags and a lot of us who see the warning signs. And no, no, they're not paying attention. Like they they dismiss those signs completely altogether, right? Number four, this kind of ties back into number two. Figure out once you see the person, like see how they interact with other people or whatever the case may be, see how they treat other people. See how they treat or they talk about their exes. See how they talk about their friends and see how they 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 interact with other people. See if they're disrespectful to a lot of other people. See if they treat other people like crap. See how they how they care or don't care about other people. These are going to be key signs to the character of who they are and how they will treat you if something ever pops off not okay between the two of you. Like these are key signs. Um I was watching something 
I know I love my shows. I was watching something and it said, and it made a lot of sense, okay? Sometimes, you know, on TV, you can't pay attention to what they say. But I was watching something and it made a lot of sense and it said that previous behavior is a sign of future behavior. And it's not always in that case, but most of the time, if you notice how someone is acting and treating someone else, pay attention because that means when things get ugly, they are going to act and treat you the same way. So these are another sign that this ain't it. That's not the person you need to be dealing with. And my last sign is their lack of support. And I'm going to say lack of support for you and what that support looks like for you. My support looks different. Your support needs are going to look different. The person that you're dealing with, their support needs are going to look different. So you have to pay attention to that. The, the, the all in all is that you cannot have a guide there's not like a guide that can be given to you when it comes to dating because you have to date for you. You have to move and groove with the person that vibes with you, which is why I started off and I said, you have to get to a point where you know yourself so well that when ugly things come up, you can go to this person and say, these things make me feel uncomfortable. I don't feel safe here or I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you do that. And if it's somebody that's really interested in you, then they're going to go ahead and, you know, readjust. It's that give and take. Like the only time you need to give is when you are giving the information or giving of yourself once you know that it's solidified. Like once they've gotten through your ugly or not your ugly, but once they've gotten through the test that you kind of had to put them into, that is the only time that you really need to start giving of yourself. If you give of yourself a little too early, you're going to start feeling like, you need to re you need to receive you need your uh what do they call it your ROI once you start investing a lot of yourself then you are going to want to find the return on that investment and once you get the return on that investment it's either going to be the return that you want or the return that you don't want it's that simple it's that simple so five tips I'm going to recap this really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and hop up out of here cuz y'all know I don't like to keep y'all uh, uh too much of y'all time but number one, if they're too busy, they're not interested because they're not even going to make the time. Now, it's a, it's a difference between a person who is really busy, but also makes the time. Like a busy person understands that those couple of minutes driving home in the car matter. A, a, a busy person understands that when I get home, those first five couple of minutes that I have to, 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 to sit and do whatever, like these things matter. And these are opportunities to go ahead and call and text or see how your day is going or whatever the case may be. So don't ever let somebody tell you that they're too busy. If they're too busy, that just means that they're not in a position to want to date right now. And that's okay too. You should be able to accept that too. Number two, pay attention to how super critical they are of other people. Judging other people, um, how they dress, how they look, how they eat, what they doing, what they time. Like these, si these are signs of someone who is going to be super critical of you, but also not comfortable enough in themselves that they feel like they have to put all of that other energy out on somebody else. Number three, when things don't add up, they don't add up and you have to pay attention when they don't add up. You cannot ignore when they don't add up. You have to speak up when they don't add up. Pay attention to that. Number four, pay attention to how they treat other people because when things get ugly between the two of you, that is how they're going to treat you. And you cannot be surprised because guess what? They've already showed you who they are. And number five is their lack of support. If they cannot support you in the way that you need to be supported, that is probably not the person that you need to be dating. And you don't need to waste your time. And it's okay if it doesn't work out in that manner. Like you have to be okay with walking away and saying, you know what? This is not for me. You have to be okay with that. If you're not okay with that, you get yourself caught up and then it'll just be a whole mess. That's my take on that. Now, I appreciate you guys that took the time to tune in. I will go ahead and again tell you guys there are um, sponsorship and ad opportunities through Midday Juice in partnership with Send Digital. Um, I also have ad opportunities that you guys already know of and sponsorship packages for Monday Night Juice. But I'm super excited because next week on Monday, I have a very beautiful girl. I mean, she's so beautiful inside and out. Her name is Brandy Renee. She's going to be the next week's guest on Monday Night Juice. So shout out to Brandy for, for making the time to come onto the show. She's going to be talking about her, her nursing scrub line at Celeste Designs, as well as her new IV hydration uh, facility. I don't really know exactly what it is, but I'm really excited to hear about it. So shout out to Brandy. She's going to be on the show on Monday. And then... 
I did want to go ahead and say that um, this Saturday, I'm so very excited. This Saturday, I will have another Ask Ashley segment on Fox 19. Um, I'm going to be talking about some things that we got going on in the community, something nice that you guys can be doing this weekend and next weekend. So you guys make sure that you check me out, Fox 19. This is going to be on the morning show on Saturday. So I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. Like, y'all making me feel real good, real good. And sometimes this needs that, man. Like, sometimes... Sometimes I be needing that that love and that positive energy. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in and for giving it to me on a regular basis, on a weekly basis. Y'all know I've been doing this for, woo, we almost about to go on five years. And they say when you five years in business, that means something. So I take pride in that. But again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in. Go ahead and go over to my YouTube. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to Send Digital, make sure you guys are following and liking Send Digital and Ask Ashley. I appreciate you and I will see you all on Monday. Okay. Monday at 7 p.m. with Brandy Renee. But then also I'll see you guys Tuesday, one o'clock for another episode of Midday Juice. All right. I'm out. Bye.